hello friends once again you are welcome to the second part of this modeling lesson so in this lesson we will be focusing on placing the braces in between the beams and as well we will be fixing beams to complete the platform of the water tank so we want to be making progress as we navigate to the modeling tab right there I'll click right there on the modeling tab and then look at steam members right there I'll click on brace once I click right there I'll pick the first beam pick the second beam and the brace dialog will come up just like this and this one you are having there, the, the, the default brace type is uh, S brace. So at first we'll be looking at the profile of the brace. This is L80 by 8. So we will be editing this. The profile at first. We want to use a more smaller section for the brace. As we will choose 50 by 50 by 5 right there click on select and ok after which the brace type we consider is decay brace just like this but we want it to be inverted so come to the invert tick that position you can see it's being inverted successfully all right after which you click on ok to insert the brace just like this if you rotate you can see the you can actually see the the orientation of the angles is okay all right so we continue to fix other braces just like that i pick this one first I pick the up one to insert that click on okay to have that the same thing applicable there all right click on okay same thing applicable in this position and also here and then I'll fix this position so I will continue to place the braces successfully just the same method Using the same procedure, I have been able to fix the rest of the braces successfully using the same uh, procedure. Alright, so we want to be proceed into uh, completing the platform. Okay, for us to do that, we go back to the uh, steam member right there in the drop down select uh, beam and then change the sections to. Uh, First of all, select BS and then to use this uh, particular section. Uh, this is 50 by 25, and not that one. We will be considering 100 by, by, by 80, and then the thickness is going to be 5, like this. Click on OK. And then OK again to start the instruction. Rotate it in a way that it is visible. And then I'll pick this point and place it here to insert a beam right there. And from that point, I'll have another beam there. And then just like that. Okay.
I've closed this dialog after fixing the required beams for the platform. So this is what I actually expected to have. All right. So for us to be able to place load and transfer load successfully through the structure, we will need to uh, place a slab on the top of this structure. And for us to do that, you go straight away to the structural members, click on the uh, slab right there. In the slab dialog, we are going to be considering the slab thickness of 100 right there. Okay. And for the node, we are going to choose our flat roof load. For the imposed load, we considered a post load of uh, 1.5 just for the sake of the lesson. And then you can be able to uh, start to place the snap right there. Just like that. So after having placed the slab successfully like this, we close this dialog. We are going to be loading this structure, loading the slab. The slab will now transfer the load to the beam and to the columns through the foundations. All right, and that is going to be in the next lesson. So we are going to stop here for now, as we are going to continue loading analysis and design of this structure as well as the foundations in the next lesson and so stay tuned and bye for now